Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn to draw Lewis dot structures of covalent molecules that do not obey the octet rule. Even though the octet rule guided us draw all the Lewis dot structures, it is not universal. That is, there are several exceptions to the octet rule. These exceptions are classified into three types. First, incomplete octet. Before we discuss what an incomplete octet means, I want you to draw the Lewis dot structures of the following molecules BF3 and BeCl2. Let us do this together. Boron, the least electronegative element in the center, and fluorines on the three sides. Let's count the valence electrons. Boron belongs to group 3A. So therefore it has three valence electrons. Fluorine belongs to group 7a. Each of them have seven valence electrons. So in total 21 valence electrons. If I add them up, I have a total of 24 valence electrons in BF3. I connect the central atom to the terminal atoms by single bonds. And I used up six valence electrons in doing so. I have 18 valence electrons remaining. I am going to place these valence electrons on the terminal atoms. I used up all the electrons. Now let me check if each of the atoms have octet configuration. The terminal fluorine atoms, all of them have octet configuration. However, the boron central atom has only six electrons. That is, two electrons short of octet configuration. So according to the guidelines that we discussed, we need to transfer one electron pair from the terminal atoms onto the boron as a multiple bond. There are three different fluorine atoms from which I can transfer this electron pair from. Therefore, there are three different resonance structures possible. Now let us calculate the formal charges on all the atoms for the three resonating structures and this structure. Here are the formal charges. The structure on the top does not obey the octet rule. The three structures on the bottom do obey the octet rule. If you look at the formal charges though, the structure on the top has all zero formal charges. And the structures below have non-zero formal charges. We have learned earlier that zero formal charges are more preferable than non-zero formal charges. So based on the octet rule, the resonance structures drawn below are preferable. And based on the formal charges, the top structure is preferable. So which is the correct structure? Most of the evidence suggests that BF3 exists as the top structure. And the reason is fluorine atoms being highly electronegative are unwilling to donate its electron pair as a multiple bond. The compounds in which the number of electrons around the central atom is less than 8 are classified as incomplete octates. An example is BF3. Because these compounds have less than 8 electrons in the valence shell, they are called as electron deficient compounds and they act as good acceptors of electron pairs. That is, they are good Lewis acids. We will discuss more about Lewis acids in another chapter. Let us now draw the Lewis dot structure of beryllium chloride. Beryllium in the center, chlorines on the side. Beryllium has two valence electrons, each of the chlorine seven. So in total, we have 16 valence electrons. I connect the central atom to the terminal atoms by single bonds. In doing so, I used up four electrons. So I have 12 valence electrons remaining. 
I'm going to place these 12 valence electrons on the terminal atoms as non-bonding electron pairs. I have used up all the valence electrons. If we check each of the atoms have octate, the central atom beryllium has only four electrons. That is four electrons short of octate configuration. If we assign the formal charges, all the atoms have zero formal charges. If we transfer any of the electron pairs from the terminal atoms onto the beryllium as a multiple bond, it increases the formal charges and makes those structures less preferable. Elements in period 3 and higher can use their d orbitals in addition to s and p orbitals for bonding. Therefore, they can form molecules and ions in which the central atom has more than 8 electrons. These molecules or ions are said to have expanded octet electronic configuration. There are several examples for the compounds with expanded octet configuration. One of the examples is sulfate ion. Let us draw the Lewis dot structure of sulfate ion. Sulfur in the middle, oxygen on the sides. Sulfur has six valence electrons. Oxygen also has six valence electrons. And there are two negative charges. So overall, 32 electrons. I connect the central atom to the terminal atoms using single bonds which costs 8 electrons. So there are 24 electrons left over. I am going to place these 24 electrons on the terminal atoms as electron pairs and I use all of them. Now let us check if each of the atoms have octet configuration and I see that there are 8 electrons around all the 4 oxygen atoms and sulfur atom. So all of them have octet configuration. Let's also assign formal charges. There are a lot of non-zero formal charges which makes this structure unfavorable. Also we know that sulfur is in period 3. Therefore it can use its d orbitals and form more than four bonds. So what if I push some electron pairs from the oxygen atoms on the terminal to the sulfur? One of the possible structures I get is this. The formal charges of this structure are definitely better than that of the formal charges of this structure. And this structure is one of the six possible resonance forms. You can write the remaining five structures by changing the position of the double bond onto different oxygens. Most of the experimental evidence indicates that this structure along with its five other resonance forms best represents the resonance hybrid of sulfate ion. Therefore, sulfur has 12 electrons around it in sulfate ion and is an example of expanded octet. Some compounds have odd number of valence electrons. Therefore, there is an unpaired electron in its Lewis dot structure. For example, NO2 has an unpaired electron in its structure. These kind of molecules are called as radicals or free radicals. They are extremely reactive. For example, NO2 dimerizes to form N2O4.